Conversations. You can also have UFC, which teaches you as guys and ladies how to defend yourself. Both encompasses everything. Football provides you with that sport that is unbeatable. Entertainment that you are looking for in comedy shows that you cannot even find in comedy shows. Football can never. Pro All these other shows cannot provide you with a last-minute drama or a last-minute header by Benzema that clinches, clinches you the final trophy, even in the dying minute. I believe you all ladies can also agree with me that football is very inclusive because football allows ladies as much as guys to perform. Also, we have a very typical example in our house that is with a man because of football. With assurance in finance. Miss Bella, Big Bella, as you like to call her, is with big shakes because I don't know for whatsoever reason, but we can table it to you that she has assurance in the fact that she will live here if you feel the man, not just because of Big Shakes, but also because of the fact that she is on this platform. But she made Big Shakes sideways. So Big Shakes provides this assurance. And football, I would like to put to you, provides this assurance. Entertaining, relaxing, and educative. She ends up turning into a football station and realizing that all she gets there is heart attack. Anyways, distinguished and impartial panel of My name is Rachel Akoy and I am here strongly to support the motion which says that general entertainment is a better use of time than football. Different ways. I'll be speaking against it in ways of violence, in ways as football being a home wrecker, in as football being an addiction which leads to deaths in our homes as individuals. It's also not good for our health. First of all, the last World Cup I watched as a teenager was one that involved violence because somebody was trying to hit a ball and the next thing we saw was a footballer heading the person directly to his chest. And at the end of threatening me that anything I do to him, he would hit me on my chest. Is this what we actually want to teach our kids? Is it Johnson's? And you will laugh and even forget the fact that you're hungry and you're telling me that we should watch football? I don't want to watch football properly without the, the fear of calling an ambulance to take the person to the hospital. People who have a lot of money place bets. But you see people who are so poor, they get so addicted to betting, they continue to bet even when they are losing, they continue to bet, they even borrow. And at the end of the day, leading, leading their family into betting. You will see, you will see a, 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 a woman, Bella for instance, cannot have time with her man just because of a football conversation. You cannot even you cannot even go close to a man the minute he's seen, the minute his team loses loses to an oppo to an opposing team. You cannot even 
speak to your mom. I feel like perspective is an amazing thing. Speak on it a little bit more. Football brings everybody together, it unifies the whole world. We've done it so many times, but I'm not going to speak on this by just speaking on it with no example. The only African footballer to <laughs> come to together. He brought his country together, he was so supportive, he was able to change that from a point of being a football star to becoming a political candidate to now being the first footballer that's become a president in the whole, in the whole world, really. So that's one thing that football will do, unify the country. It's done that in Nigeria. Drink alcohol and then you stagger back home and descend on your wife and children, all in the name my of husband, I my husband, I did not win football. And also, my uh, other opposing debater said something about um, C. Ronaldo being the most followed human on earth. I understand. I'm not objecting. But see what the God has got. People now see fellow human beings as God. <laughs> because of football. He said, that. football helps you get fit. Football does this. Football does that. Excuse me. If you are not eating well. Talking about general entertainment, we have Master Chef. Where you can see a balanced diet, how to mix your food, how to and there are all the fix uh, uh, channels on DSTV where you can easily um, um, get to learn some easy workouts that you can use to keep fit. You don't have to do football. Football is a home wrecker, according to my uh, uh, fellow debater. She said that, and I will also talk more on it. For example. You will tell your wife, eh, I'm coming, I want to go and watch one match between this and this. And as you are going, you will call Shade, Shade, come meet me for this place. Shade will come and meet you. Now, you have started cheating because of football. Even if you don't get, by the time you get to the viewing center, you will see your mates with girls, and you too, you want to call a girl. And not just that. You are right, football, girl. Football also helps to, to, to increase violence, like, for example, or anger. When she was talking, when my fellow the debater was talking. Our gentlemen here saw anger in their face. They even gave an exclamation. Uh, uh, my, I don't know how to say that is what football is about. Yeah, my opposing debater made a statement about unity. Excuse me. For example, the match between Ghana and Nigeria, when Ghana came to Abuja, where did it lead to? They all played the match and violence, destruction, people lost their about so ladies and gentlemen for the fact that and general entertainment will help you learn lifestyle morals fashion